time as well from the upcoming. Lovely to speak with you today. It's Congratulations. It's really nice to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a fantastic film. So can you tell us a little bit about your character, the role you play, and how you got involved in the project? Okay, I play the mum of the guy who gets the girl basically and so <laughs> I mean I got involved basically I, I'm a regular jobbing actor you know I get I get an audition like you know anyone else just grafting away I, I don't I'm not the kind of actor it's like a stack of scripts next to them and I just get to pick and choose and it's not that so I got a phone call saying you have an audition for Sam Mendes and of course you go oh, really <laughs> oh, okay and so and they only send me uh, one scene you know which is quite a common occurrence nowadays you don't always get the whole script um, and so I had to kind of extrapolate what they needed from you know a little bit of information had a couple of goes and then you hear back saying oh you know Sam Mendes wants to have a meeting with you and you're like oh my god <laughs> okay um, you know in this time you know post pandemic it's not as if I'm still not going out all the time so you know going out for reading with Sam Mendes you're just kind of like mm, where are my actual clothes <laughs> like I haven't not been in pajamas in the last five months um so yeah and then I was like a little puppy dog going to meet him obviously you're just so happy to be out and then happy to be sitting opposite Sam Mendes and asking questions general questions about life and work and stuff um yeah, I sorry, I rambled on a bit <laughs> no. uh, there, Azel. What was the other half of your rather scintillating <laughs> no, question you, that I completely I ran that. rush on over? <laughs> but I think for you, obviously, your character comes in sort of near the end, sort of halfway through yeah. 2000. But I think we get a real essence of your character through your son, Stephen, played by Michael Ward. So yes, because Stephen. he's got manners, he's really gentlemanly. So we know that you he comes from a, a loving mother. Yes. Probably, and then he, obviously you come in and you say, you know, I'd like you to be kind. I hope you were kind. Yes. So what's that like building that relationship with him and forging that on screen? Yeah, I mean, I, what, what, uh, what a gift to work with Stephen. I mean, well, Michael Ward, who plays Stephen, <laughs> my son. I mean, it's just to look into his eyes as my son. I mean, I had all the information I needed. I mean, I, I'm quite, a, I'm a very technical actor. I do, there's nothing I do that's, you know, bells and whistles or mystical in any way. I just kind of sit down with the script, work out my objective, you know, work out um, where I've just come from, where I'm going. Uh, action all the lines, get in the costume, go on set, handle all the objects, you know, glasses and stuff, and, you know, just touch the things around me to be in the space. And then once Sam says, um, you know, action, look into the eyes of my scene partner and go for what I want. And when you're doing that opposite Michael Ward, it's terribly, terribly easy. I mean, he's the most wonderful young actor. Obviously, you work with Olivia Colman as Hillary. Mm -hmm. And what was that like working doing scene work with her. Yeah, same. And loads of fun. I mean, she's a, she's a huge laugh. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're sort of, I guess, uh, we're nearly contemporaries in terms of like, you know, when we started acting in the industry, she, I suppose she started a few years after me. So we have some kind of friends in common and we can't, we'd lived in the same neighborhood for a little while. Um, we have kids sort of around the same age. So that a lot of our conversations was around the daily life stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Kids, school. <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. And then it's like, action, <laughs> and you could do the thing, which is great because that, you know, it just establishes a different type of intimacy, doesn't it, you know? And I think obviously the whole film is set in the 80s in a cinema, yeah. you know, these amazing props and everything. And what do you think some of the messages are that come out of the film that viewers will glean from that? Um, well, I'd be very interested in, you know, um, having ongoing discussions about mental health uh, issues. I, I, I was quite fascinated by, number one, I was really interested in the fact that Sam Mendes himself was a, was a young carer. Do you know what I mean? I, I was also a young carer to, to be in my uh, family with my dad, um, who was very poorly for most of his life. And um, it's a very particular kind of pressure. And then so we see, you know, Olivia's character, Hilary, going through this stuff alone, really. And then you know, Michael's character, Stephen, almost becomes a de facto carer when he finds out how she's falling apart at the seams. Um, so I'm very interested in those discussions because now all of us have a certain sort of uh, fluency when it comes to like mental health issues. There's a certain kind of, you know, there's lots of, you know, there's a whole narrative around, like, there's, you know, there's, we have words for things. We have, you know, there's a lot of people even diagnosing themselves just about before they see anyone, you know. And back then, in 81, it was different. You didn't talk about it, you know, having to change meds and all that stuff. And then, of course, what 
Michael's character goes through is, is on a kind of socio-political level, completely different, you know. Um, and yet they come together and find one another. So I'm really interested in I would I would love to have those types of conversations with people, you know. Well, thank you very much thank for you, speaking to me. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you very much.